Ooh. <laughs> who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, yo? South African Geek here. Welcome to my channel. Just finished watching episode one of Peacemaker, the pilot episode. Got introduced to Chris and his wild gang. <laughs> Uh, Amanda Waller's daughter. So many things. Yo, I'm mad excited for the second episode. It has its own tone. Now I know what I'm supposed to be expecting from Vigilante. It's a weird, creepy obsession with Peacemaker. I feel like he's probably going to be Peacemaker's biggest villain. Because Peacemaker's probably going to let him down in some way. And Vigilante's a threat in the comics, yo. Even in Arrow, he was a threat. But anyway, dealt with a lot of shit. Racism, sexism, <laughs> all those zooms were in the first episode. Let's not waste any more time and see the second episode. I'm really enjoying it. Let's dive right in. Please like and subscribe. She named him dumb shit. What? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cops are here. This episode's building tension. Damn, I guess this is the opening sequence. I thought it was like a one-time thing. I guess they wouldn't make them do this for a one-time thing. Peacemaker. So the first two episodes are James Cano. Or does he direct most of the season? Damn, it's taking the cops a long time to get to the apartment. What gun is that? Did she just build a gun? It was an explosion, it was a sonic boom. He brought his files? Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> it's very vulgar. It's gonna have a limited fan base. <laughs> what is he doing? He's stealing her vinyls? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Is that an alien device? This helmet makes him very identifiable. Okay, cops. People like dancing in the show. He's going to blow up, huh? Isn't this an apartment complex? Why are the other people reacting? Freddy Mohammed, I'm an He's probably gonna seem like a thief to that guy. How do they do, do they not know what's happening behind? Damn. Is he gonna jump from apartment to apartment? I don't think anyone's in there. Being to another. Dropped it again. Is she, is she turned on by him? Did he just become Mr. Steel, your girl? I appreciate it. It's getting trust the phone for being tied up. Doesn't hurt too much. The dude is stealing his girl. Are you oh my god. <laughs> the cops have to be hearing this. He's probably gonna have a hard time with that door. He did it. Surprisingly. <laughs> this is all happening because he he stole vinyls. So many cops. How did he get below below them? Didn't he jump opposite? Oh, he keeps jumping them gold below. So they think it's a punishment for Walla, but Walla trusted them with her daughter. That's trippy. He's still gonna jump some more? Goddamn. Oh shit. Show's very comical though. Oh shit. She got thoughts? They all went night night. Oh my god, he's gonna land terribly again. Haha! <laughs> Damn, they really shoot him to kill. They're worried about it shitting there when the gun is riddled with bullets now. I'm in the car. Damn, they really decorate the place to look cinematographically polite. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I just said. What? Oh, he's racist. Is he like the first peacemaker? 
Fuck. <laughs> Why not? I didn't know if you were going to God damn, it still connects to Peacemaker. That's so stupid. That is such a dumb move. Come on, man. Don't. She's so hype. <laughs> He's disappointed he hasn't been shot at. Kidding. <laughs> they name dropping. Bad Might? Oh, yeah, I remember Bad Might in Batman Brave and Bold. Was that the first time she worked for Walla? She's so mistrusting. <laughs> this show is so its own. You are so fucked up. Oh, it's because he brought his files. It's true. He didn't give him all the information he needed. Dick Vampire. You bribed them. I still don't know what that is. I'm a dick vampire. not a dick do the cops not know where he used to live? Why is he crying? Why is he going through this now? Louis C.K. This is a weird conversation. God damn. This is permanently in, in the show now. Louis C.K.'s steak situation. The suit is kind of cool, though. More muscular. <laughs> He's actually believing him. Did you maybe see another? We <laughs> didn't see what you think we pull. Eagly. <laughs> I don't even know your secret. You think people so he doesn't know that the dude who works at a restaurant in Switzerland. Special, careful, and all. It's a pocket vagina. They're trying to redeem him in our eyes. He still killed Rick Flag. Just think I'm a fucking maniac. That some crazy shit. This episode got significantly slower towards the end. Feel good? Well, that person Did some graffiti? Their eyeballs pleasure? It does give him pleasure. No. Mistake. Unless there's a mistake. Like a fucking maniac. Oh my gosh, they about to go weapon training? Oh shit. Ooh. Haha. <laughs> this is some best friend behavior though. Damn. Yo. <laughs> Both of them are great marksmen. They're having so much fun. He's gonna blow him up? No? That's a prank? <laughs> These guys and something else. Damn, they're really framing his dad. Jesus. Damn, they really framed his dad. So many people are celebrating him go down. Obviously his dad isn't racist, bigot, whatever motherfucker, but Peacemaker's not gonna be happy about this. Oh, is he? Do you dress up your dogs? No, I don't. Send them away. They're not safe. Yeah, that alien artifact. What is it? Like she slept with her? And vigilante? Yeah, this artifact, what's with it? Oh shit! How are they connected? You just going after the black dude? Oh, he about to get fucked up. Yes. Why is everybody standing? Oh shit! They worship him? He's the white dragon. God damn. Oh shit. You gave him an army, yo. The white dragon seems happy. This episode started so intentionally, then it slowed down drastically. Then they had a little fun shooting moment in between. Then it ended in a very plot moment. Like, god damn, white dragon. I'm interested now. Like, what? His father's that racist? <laughs> Damn. Are we going to see his father in costume? What if his father's the main villain? I know I thought it was vigilante, but his father also could be a problem.
it probably is the problem. But also these butterfly people, what's going on with them? They still haven't explained that to us or to Peacemaker so the audience members don't know. Oh, interesting show, man. It really is uniquely itself, though. You got to give it up for that. Anyway, like and subscribe. Deuces.